everybody. Let me get my good stuff going. I'm on a little bit early again because I'm going to um, just make sure that I get everything hooked up. Last couple of weeks, I've struggled to get everything up and ready to go on time. So let's see if I got it figured out. I think I do, but I don't know why. Ah. There we go. It's like my screen is locked up. I don't know what just like. Well, let's go back and see if it saved it. Oh, it did. So, okay. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Mom. Christy's on. Hey, Christy. Patty's on. Wow, you guys are like right Johnny on the spot. And here I was struggling again. Hopefully you guys can see me and hear me. And I got all that going right tonight. I'm seeing myself, so... All right, so I guess you would tell me if you couldn't see me, you'd be talking to yourself. I got to take my coat off. I got myself all worked up. <clears throat> it's a little chilly down here because, you know, the air conditioning's on upstairs. And I got the vents closed down, but gosh, it's just freezing down here. Anyway, uh, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. If you're here for my weekly live. Thank you. If you're not and you just fell upon us, then please stick around and um, stay for the weekly live. Today is free shipping. Everybody knows that by now. Every single demonstrator out there has probably blasted that all over the social media. Um, it's free shipping on order $75 or more. I will be placing an order um, after my video is done. I'm going to submit my order. So if anybody has anything else to add, um <laughs> yes don't i am always cold um if anybody has anything else to add take part in the free shipping in your local or if you're coming over to my house at some point in time and you could pick it up um that'd be great i'll add it to my order and get that going for you uh, free shipping ends at midnight or probably 11 59 um, mountain time which is two hours later than michigan so it'll be like 2 a.m. our time. So um, that's it, paper sale. Designer series paper sale still going on tonight. We're gonna use this cool pack called Masterfully Made. Oh gosh, you guys, it's got some really cool, if you didn't get it, let me, might not show up the best if I hold it up, but I've been using it. It's got this pretty one, but on the, um, some of the papers like this one it's like they tore little pieces of paper and laid them all down or it's kind of like back in the day i remember in girl scouts we took um actually and i've done it after that probably i did it with reed's girl scout you tore pieces of masking tape and you stuck them all over um well, back in my day, they were beer bottles and they were the squattier ones with the little neck on them. You stuck it all around that. And then you, um, I think we shoe polished them. And then that dried on there and um, gave this type of a look. But that's another one of the, um, and then 
the backs of some of them are just solid colors. This is pretty. Another, it's kind of like the other one I just held up, but it's in brighter colors. Purple. There's a solid sheet of like roses. It's holding that up the right way. And then on the back is the green. I'm sure, that's going to be Reed's favorite. And then, as with a lot of our um, 12 by 12s now, um, we they make it like this so you can cut it down the middle and then zip it into four inch wide sheets and you can make six cards wham bam just like that and i think that that's all of the papers in there and um i've been hacking away at this one making all kinds of well honestly i've been making all kinds of mistakes um trying to find out which size i needed to cut it for one of the cards um the die that I used was too big for the card, so I had to cut it down, but I um, think that's it. I'm gonna get started. Uh, that was it for the housekeeping. Um, unless of course you wanna come and housekeep my house. I haven't picked up since you guys were here. I forgot when making the Lazy Days class because I thought a couple um, like Debbie was gonna come and make her cards. So. Um, I didn't put the stuff away, but I'm going to have to swoop it all into a drawer and then Sunday at the play date, if she wants to um, make her cards, then I'll have everything still available. But that's the other thing. Play date. Play date is Sunday, nine to five. Come whenever. Um, bring whatever it is you need to work on. we got no structure, no nothing. So we're just going to hang out and enjoy a little friend time. You want to read you don't want to do anything you want to crochet whatever so come on over um and we'll have a great old time so that's it let me turn my screen down to my desktop I know, Patty, I got to get ready for Sunday. I, I think I know what I'm going to make so that we have some food to eat. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm not ready. I got, um, I got a couple days. Yeah, don't rush me. Don't rush me. Um, okay, so now you're seeing my desktop. Let me put something in here for my camera to focus on. So, you guys, I'm going to show you. I, um, I started out with all kinds of different ideas. Um, I wanted to sh make a new, it's not a fun fold, it's just a design. Um, and I decided I wanted to do it with these nested essentials dies. These are in the annual catalog. I zoomed in today, so now nothing's going to fit on my screen. And they're nested essentials dies, and you get all of these dies. And I'm using, I didn't use these, but I'm gonna show you some of these and some of these. And then I wanted to add some stamping to it. So I am pulling in a little bit of the Little Dreamers. I gotta get that in there, the Little Dreamers stamp set. Just the words, I didn't do any of the animals um, cause that would have required me to color. I'm using the Circle Sayings stamp set and punch. And gosh, I thought, oh, I got one more example with the bird's eye view. And I didn't bring that over. That was just one I'm going to show you. Uh, but the bird's eye view, Reed called it the nerdy birds. I bought that for her. Um, she wanted to make some homemade um, writing paper to um, be able to write some letters on. And so um, I forgot even what page it's on. It's on the left-hand side. Kathy um, probably saw it and um, got a good chuckle out of it. They're just kind of fat birds with um, glasses and a monocle and thing. Well, let me show you the bird right here. These are some of the birds in it. Um, and she liked that. So I bought that for her and I threw that in because I need to make some baby cards. So I turned the card into a baby card. So I'm going to start with my putziest card just, just to get it out of the way. So here's one that I made. Um, it uses the tiniest, let me get it out of 
brought them all over. It uses the tiniest die from that. And it is gonna give you about a one and a quarter inch banner flag, um, fishtail, I don't know what you guys wanna call it, but a little fishtail banner, fishtail label. This is what this one is. So I'm gonna show you this card, hopefully real quick. If it starts to get too putsy, I will just pretend that we finished it. So let me move that off to the side. I got all kinds of piles again today. And so what we're gonna start with is the lemon lolly at eight and a half by five and a half. We'll fold it in half or score it at four and a quarter. I've got an azure afternoon, azure afternoon that measures five and a quarter by four. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. Hear that on. And like I said, I was making some baby cards, so I thought that the lemon lolly would make a cute baby card. I used the um, oval rounded corner die. This is the smallest die. Let me look up at my note. There's one smaller. This is the second smallest die in the bunch. And now you guys, I'm setting the dies aside and not back in the stamp set that I brought them over in. So I'll probably use it. I was trying to be efficient and set them down. And yeah, we know how that goes. So what I did was I took the, let me show you the stamp set again, Little Dreamers. So I'm taking the Little Baby Big Love stamp for the, that label there. And I took my blocks over to my other table. It looks like a couple of the same size. So I got my um, stamp set in the Azure Afternoon. Azure Afternoon, I'm gonna always say that twice. I don't know how to say it. And I'm gonna stamp that down. Little baby big love. Now, I think that that would be really cute stamped and um, 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 heat embossed. I think that would be really cute. Add a nice touch to the dimension there. Raise it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna set this card aside. I got those done. I'm gonna bring my piece of paper back in that I put the... Okay, now I have another layer that is five by three and three quarters. And I got some opal polish in green lemons. And we get this at um, Novi when we go, that's where the girls, we find it, but you can get it online too. And it's just a, like a goopy paint polishy stuff in there. It's kind of wet. Um, and in the top here is a sponge. And the whole idea is you get the sponge wet. Mine's still wet from before. Then you dunk it in the polish stuff, pick it up and get it on your sponge. And then you can start off your page and then you can just like roll around and cover your paper. Kind of like shoe polish. I want to make sure I cover all my areas. See if I can hold it down without getting fingernail marks in it. 
and it will make your paper a little bit soggy. Then you can rinse your little sponge off. And I learned the hard way that you want to keep this, I believe, back in a bag or um, put some saran wrap between the lid in here to keep it from drying out. I had some white or some glittery stuff and it kind of dried up on me. So I'm putting it back in the bag. That's what I was told to do. And hopefully that's going to keep these from drying out now that I've opened them up. So now this one, I don't think you can really see it, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer like the um, shimmer paper we used to have. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. Some, uh, let's see now that this one's dry, this one might show up better because this one's dry. Can you kind of see that on there? So that's what I hauled out for this. I thought that it would be cute. Let me fold this in half and then use up some extra stuff. Can you see it on my finger how like shimmery? It's opal. That's what it is. That's why they call it opal polish. It's got an opaly look to it. And like I say, the water on the brush. Look at that crease I made in there when my tape. Oh, and I made the layer too big. Dang it all. I used the wrong layer. I'll bet that's what I did. All right, I'm going to throw that away because I got a huge mess with it now. We'll throw that layer away. And I'll bet this is the one. Yep, this is the one I'm supposed to use. So let me get this back out. Do that again real quick. Little deja vu, rewind it. The girl, the um, couple years ago when we went and saw them using this, she was using it on her Bible for some Bible journaling. And it sure looked pretty because the pages on her Bible were thinner and the opaly um, look just came through so nice. It looks so pretty. So we bought some. And this, after a year, is the first time I've used the yellow, green. Green lemons or whatever it was called. I want to make sure under my light, I can't really see where I'm missing, but I can tell because my sponge isn't still as wet that I'm missing some spots, but we're going to call it good. I think that looks good. The more I go, the more I'm gonna probably rub it off or rub it around or whatever. I'm gonna put the lid back on and we'll try this again. And I will, like I said, I will rinse that sponge out. And I'm gonna flip it over and to prevent the same mishap, I'll use some green glue. and keep that from possibly wrinkling up on me. So I'm gonna glue that down. On there, like this, so. All right, I'm gonna put that aside and let that finish drying now that I got it all stuck down real good. And I used, like I said, I used that little tiny die and I made a bunch of the tiny flags with it. And I'm gonna cut a piece of the Parakeet Party Baker's Twine. Um, I don't even know if we still have that. It was last year's um, in color. So let me do this real quick. I'm gonna put piece of double sticky tape on the back top of each of my pieces. Should have done this piece, this step 
first. You know, I like to prep stuff. I don't want to keep you guys here all night. Although I'd love to keep you here all night and just craft with you. All right, so I got those on there. Then what I'm going to do I'm just going to lay them out. And I'm going like every other. So I want to I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to have a There we go. Oh, that's kind of same. I'm going to have a couple of the same ones by each other. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this precisely or anything, but I'm just folding over the top. And you can do this after even. I'm kind of going to lay that out where I want it. I'm going to have my first one kind of down here and hanging off. My second one. And then I'll fold them over when I'm done after. Third one. Fourth one and the fifth one. So I'm going to flip it over and then just force the top over on each one just so that it sticks to um, the string. That's my main objective here. I want it to stick to the string. For my little banner look. And then we can kind of hang it down. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue tape on each one so that I can stick it now to the card. It didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna, so hopefully this got dry. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna just kind of like drape it on there like that. That's a little bit drapier than my first one. The first one I actually trimmed off but since i'm i don't want to say in a hurry but i'm doing this a little differently i already glued my yellow down so let's see if i could trim that off See what we got. We're going to call that good. We're going to put that right up to the edge. Stick those babies down, and if you want, you can foof them up a little bit so they stick up. I tied a knot and then pushed it down to the end. Then you can trim, trim your end off. Tied a knot on this end. Push it down, trim it off, just kind of 
gives it a little little bit of a fun more banner looking with the little strings hanging off. I was going to let them hang down, but I thought that that was that was pushing it. So now I'm going to put a couple um, dimensionals on the back of my banner here, or the rounded edge label that I made, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball, same distance from the bottom and the side. Glue that on. And then I have some, I'm pretty sure they're retired, but we all have so much bling that it's hard to keep track of what's retired and what's not. Pastel adhesive back sequence. So I just then started plucking them on there. Got some big ones. Some little ones and I didn't know you know how many I needed so I just kind of started going but you can feel free to ixnay the sequins or put more thing the girls and I went to the lady said you should put I can't remember she said seven or nine. Every card should have at least like I think it was seven. Seven bling on it. I always heard five was a good number. She said, use it up. Put them all over the place. And you know, that makes sense. We don't want to always hoard them. And then I will just put a white piece inside. And I stamped congratulations on your new little one. But I use lemon lolly and you can barely see it. So I might have to shake that color up on this one, but there's my first card I wanted to show you. And that's using the little mini flag or the little baby flag in there. I made that cute little baby card and used some of my opal polish. And now moving on to my next idea. Here's my next idea. This was kind of, this was a card that I found that I wanted to um, I wanted to show the like this zigzag and stuff that the pattern, the look of this. But then when I made it, it needed something. So um, like I said, I started out with the design, the idea there, and then I went and added the Hello Cupcake on with it. Uh, oh, hey, Judy. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you're getting some rain, you lucky devil. Wow. Okay, back to back to what I'm doing. I glanced over at my computer, sorry. Um, so I wanted to show you guys this now. So this one is using the big die. Let me see, I got it over here. So that's using this guy. And he is going to be about two and a half inches long by one and five eighths wide. He's a big one. And so I, this is where I had a bunch. See, I didn't use the whole thing to fit across my card, my card would have been too wide for an envelope. So I cut them down, I cut each one down um, the paper. Let me see. My paper I cut to, um, I'm drawing a blank you guys, because that was less than two inches, but I know I cut the paper to two inches. And so maybe what's happening is I did it to two inches and it came a little, came up short a smidge because of the points. I probably went two inches from there to there and then lost some. So um, that was why um, I'll have another, that example with the birds on it to show you. I had some extra of these flags because I was trying to find the right size. So I cut it to two inches and then it, it um, the strip, when I cut it out, I put the points right at the edge of the paper. So yes, that's where my shortage came from but that it worked out perfectly so um if you're going to recreate this card 
make a strip at two inches wide and then set the die right at the edge and then it won't come all the way over but that's perfect that's that's what you want so i used that marvelously masterfully made this pretty paper pack that i showed you at the beginning i used that and i just cut out a bunch of different patterns with it and i can't mess them up too much or i'm not going to know what i did too late so i used a bunch of different patterns and the hardest part about this card is lining up those little pieces so i've got an eight and a half by five and a half pretty peacock fold it in half or score it at four and a quarter so make sure you burnish it real good i've got a five and a quarter by four inch piece of basic white that we're gonna glue everything onto. And then I have all these pieces, two inch pieces. And how you're gonna do this is you're going to Set them on your paper and, and kind of line it up first to see what you got going. You want to make sure that you're lining up all your pieces. You're leaving enough space between each one to make it equal distances everywhere. Then we're going to offset the other side. Oh, look at here. Do I have the wrong pieces? No, I must just have too wide of a border going on there. Let's just keep going, see what we got. I'm going to lay them down here like so. Obviously, we need to pull that back. We get a feel for where we need our borders. Who knows? My off the screen. So we're gonna go kind of something like this. We got three along the right side, two on the left side. Then we cut our third one in half, and then we're gonna layer that top and bottom with the cut side toward the outside edge like that. So I've eyeballed it, looks good. You see how much space I need to leave. I got more at the top than I do at the bottom. So we're gonna move that down, hint like that. I'm just gonna go with it. So now I'm gonna tip it over and I'm gonna glue it down. See how good I can do this on camera. If it comes right down to it, we'll trim it down with the trimmer. That one on. Yeah, the hardest part actually on this after not only the lining up, but deciding which patterns you want to use. This paper was so pretty. Got a little bit more border on this one or distance between them. Can I do it, Dawn? All right. Move that one down just a, just a hair. So now I will come over here and start to glue these down. 
probably better if I started the middle, but these have to line up. So let's see what we got. Now oh, I got all kinds of space off on the. Actually, now I'm going to glue down this other bottom one because, like I said, those really need to line up. Oh, geez, look at it. All right, let me see. This guy's got to come out more. I'm just going to leave it, guys. I'm not going to keep tearing it apart. I got too much space over there. But you get it, you know what I'm trying to do here. Then we're gonna come in with an offset it. We're not gonna do them like point to point. You could and leave a cute diamond in the middle, but we're going to come in offset so that we've got that zigzag down the center. Yeah, I didn't want that to stick yet. I was just going to tack it down so I could get this blue one with some adhesive on it, make sure I had enough space there. <laughs> I went out a couple times today. Holy hot. I don't like hot. We need some rain, but it has been nice at night. I do want to say that I've been keeping my um, opening my doors when I get up in the middle of the night. The first time I open the doors and oh, it's so nice in the morning. But it doesn't take long about the, we shut the doors right before we go for our walk just so that it doesn't heat up too much while we're gone. I might have cut that crooked. Okay. So like I said, that's the tedious part. That's the, make sure you got it on there right kind of part. Glue it all down. The sign's got to go. That is my host code now. Um, if you have anything to order while free shipping is still going on today, that's a number you can use. If you're only doing the $75, um, to get the free shipping and add that to my host code. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this on to the front card. So maybe, Oh, I'm going to go this way. I was going to try and fix it so the spacing wasn't as obvious. Oh, I was bad on that one. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Circle Sayings. And this is a million dollar stamp set from one of my friends, Jessica Taylor. She designed this one or helped, I guess, design. I don't really know how much design um, freedom they get when it comes to their million dollar set, but this is what she came up with. And then it has this two and three eighths inch um, circle punch that coordinates with it. I did find um, the lineup of these is designed to go on this layer here. I tried a smaller one to make the two and three eighths inch a colored backing and it uh, didn't line up correctly. So make sure that you stamp on whatever it is you're gonna want to be two and three eighths inches so that it lines up correctly. So I'm going to use the sending you a semicircle. Nope. 
this is the block that I must have over on my took it. And I'm using Pretty Peacock. Just gonna stamp that. down yeah this is um this is actually a fun now that i got to use it it's it's fun it's got a bunch of um pretty things that you can add with it. And I really like the cupcakes. So, so anyway, back, I'm digressing. So I'm gonna say sending you a warm hello. And my warm hello is in the berry burst. Now I'm gonna tuck this right up in here to the arch of my banner because I'm going to only use part of the circle. And I think I stamped it up higher than um, where I need to. So I'm going to eyeball around here just to make sure it looks like I got the same distance and then I'm going to bring in my trimmer and I'm going to try and eyeball that I'm putting these points on this first little line here and I could probably even went a little bit further so I don't have so much white space I'm going to put a little bit of my glue along the bottom and I'm going to pop up the top. Cut a piece of this. I'm going to pop up the top because I want it to stick up, but I don't want the whole thing to stick up. And then I'm going to come down here to the very base. of the white and actually I'm going to go over to the very edge of the white as well. So sending you a warm hello and then for the inside I've got a five and a quarter by four inch white and I said did I bring that stamp set over? Hope you're feeling better. I did not bring that stamp set over. It's a retired stamp set, I believe. No, oh, let me bring squirrely birds while I'm at it. Here's the bird's eye view I was telling you about that I used on the other card. Me cute. That's Reedy's, um, my daughter's nerdy bird set, that's what she called it. But this color and contour, it's not retired. Um, but this is where I found, um, no, I did not find it in this set. Hold on. I knew it was retired. That was another um, card that I made. It's in this set, the Apple Harvest. Hope you're feeling better. We're gonna put that on a long block. Line that up. Pretty peacock. Hope you are feeling better. And then we're gonna glue that to the inside. Oh, 
let's see, the measure looks pretty good that way. When I do my insides and stuff, I like to try and keep these the same distance and then hope that I got the same over here, but it's less noticeable when you open it and you got that much. So as long as those have a pretty even border, I think that I'm pretty safe. For the rest of it looking all right. So that's our second card, guys. So I used the Apple Harvest and Circle Sains for this card. And then I used the Little Dreamers for this one with the baby fishtail die. This was the big fishtail die. And then I have that, um, oh, there I found the little one, yay. Almost knocking it on the floor. And then I have this with my leftovers that I used the um, big, when I was trying to figure out how, what length to make them to fit on this one, I had a bunch of extras. So I did this layout with the, um, bird's eye view and the little dreamers and then on the very so very happy for you that's where i used the color and contour set to get that um little saying for the mom or parents on that one so there's three three um ways to use these dyes and like I said, I didn't know if I how to tell you guys if I if I was showcasing the dies, if I'm showcasing the stamp set, the design. That was the design layout of this card was my main thought when I started yesterday of what I was going to do. But um, I do have one more design, but you'll have to wait till Saturday. I'm going to post a weekend sketch um, using the dies, and I'll have another card to show you that. Um, I'll post on Facebook Saturday morning and it uses the medium die, which will give you a one and a eighth wide by one and three quarters long little um, banner flag thing. So um, you'll see that on Facebook on Saturday morning. I'm going to do that when I get done here after I place my order. I will get my sketch layout um, designed and get that post ready to go. So that's it, you guys. That's my three cards. Even though we didn't make all three, should be coming back to me. There we go. Um, those are the cards that I wanted to show you. So again, it is the focus was with the die set, nested essentials dies. That's on page 165 in the catalog. I am curious how many is these. I did not use those at all in there, but I did use the other two on these cards today. So, and I got to use three stamp sets that I've never inked up yet. So I think that that was a bonus, a plus. Um, as Patty would say, I justified the purchase. So we are good to go. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna hang up. I'm not gonna hang up because I'm not talking to you on the phone, but I'm gonna go now. I'll let you get back to your rest of your evening. Thanks for watching everybody. I will be back again next week for another, who knows what I'll make next week, but I'll be back. Talk to you later. Have a great weekend. See some of you on Sunday. Can't wait. Bye everybody. <laughs>